okay, I'm out in my garage and I have some wood here and I'm going to do two faux birdhouses and then I'm going to repair this birdhouse here and repaint it up. This one I'm going to cut off and I'm going to angle the top for a roof and I'll use some little slat boards that I have to make the roof. And then the same with this one, I'll, I'll cut it probably 12 inches long or maybe a little more and then angle it on the top and use the slat board to make the roof. And, and then I'll take them in the house, I'll put them together, take them in the house and decorate them. And this one I'm just going to repair here and paint it up. Isn't my coffee cup just too cute? My sister-in-law got that for me. I love it. It has a little cowl on the inside too. Different pattern on the other side. That's probably more like our cows there. Okay. And I wanted to say that at the, uh, the mercantile has been sold, changing owners. Everybody has to get all their stuff they had in there for sale out. I uh, went in yesterday and got all my things out of there. And then in May, I'm going to have a craft show. Probably, I think it's the 12th or 4th. I don't know, somewhere in the middle of May. So I have that plus what I'm working on now to take to that craft show. So I'm trying to get busy for that because I need some uh, more spring and summer items. I'm going to get started on my wood. See how it turns out. Okay, I took my miter saw and I cut it at a 45 degree angle and now I'm going to get my slats and measure how long I want them. Let's see, here's one right here. Maybe too long to show you what I want to do. Anyways, I'll be cutting the little slats for the roof. Okay, I am just holding them on, but I did get my little slats cut for the roof. Okay, I just used a one inch bit there to drill about a half inch hole in there. And then when all I'm painting, I'll paint that black to look like it really goes in. And then I'll put a little perch down here. But all it's left to do now is to take it inside and decorate it, paint it and decorate it. Okay, I cut this piece of board at a 45 degree angle and then I just cut off the pieces for my roof and now I'll use my brad nailer to nail that on. And it'll be, because I probably, I don't know if I'll drill a hole in that one. Yeah, well, that'd be cute. I could still have a hole. So I'll use the drill press here and drill a hole. All right, after going through making this birdhouse, my wood is splitting. You can see it right in there. I'm gonna kind of pull it apart, put some glue on it on the back side. And then on this side, I'm just gonna add this rusty hinge thing. And that should hold it. It will hold it. And I have that one ready. And that one's put together. Now I'm going to sand them down after I get this fixed. I'll probably sand this one first and then fix it. All right, I'm ready to start painting. So I think for the, the roof on this one, I'm just going to use my mixture here. Wait, not that one. I'm going to be doing the wrong one. That was cinnamon. I'm going to use the one that I have with the vinegar and steel wool mixture that I left the vinegar or the steel wool set in the vinegar for about two weeks and then pull the steel wool out. I'm just going to coat the roof with that and it'll make it look old. And then I'll use the moss on the moss green on this. All right, I'm going to do the, this first. I don't really want it running down on that, but it won't hurt anything because it's old looking already. Boy, the vinegar smell. Hooey, Louie. I'm just gonna coat this and let it set for a little bit and dry, and then I'll move on to the green. I love the way this rust or this uh, 
mixture makes your wood look really old with just vinegar and steel wool that set in it for about two weeks. White vinegar is what I used. Get in the sides. All right, as soon as this is done, finished and dried a little bit, I'll start on the uh, birdhouse, the bottom. Well, I switched the paint color on this to the folk art aspen green, and now I'm gonna take it out to the garage and I'm gonna sand it down, stress it a little bit, and I have a, okay. Uh, I have this nail, this rusty nail, I think I'm gonna put right there. And I'm not sure, but I was thinking about putting this on it, but I'm just not really sure. But I'm gonna take it out and sand it down and put the nail on it, the square nail right now, and then start decorating it and see them just if I want to put this on there. I don't know if it's going to need it or not. I have it all sanded down and the square nail on it, so I'm going to seal it with this uh, Minwax Special Dark. As I like the way it turns the color of the wood and the paint a little darker. Not much, though, as I always say, not much. And then once I get this coated, I will let it set for about 10 minutes and then wipe it down. And it will be sealed. Well, I got my stuff out and started messing with it. And I'm, I'm trying to, I just, not a lot you can do to a birdhouse. And I didn't know whether to bother putting that on there. Let's see. I gotta kind of tilt it to where I'm, I'd say more like that. I don't know whether to put that on there or not. What do y'all think? <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it off. But y'all let me know what you think. If I should put that little metal piece on there, you see that? Or not? Or just leave it. There it is with it. And then without. All right, now I'm going to move on to the next birdhouse. Here's the next one I'm going to start on. And I decided to put a, instead of making it a hanging birdhouse, I decided to put the platform on it. And I put this on there because once I had this cut and stuff, there is a split going down here in places. So I went and pulled it like that and stuffed glue down in it, clamped it and let it dry. And then I went ahead and put this on there and that ought to secure it too with the glue and this it shouldn't crack anymore. So I don't know, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave the wood natural and just do something or this wood here. Maybe put this uh, sealer on it, this, this special dark and this here and paint the roof and the bottom. I'm not sure. So I'm going to sit here and look at it and try to figure out what I'm going to do with it takes me longer to figure out what I'm going to do than to actually do it. But I better get busy. Here's what I've decided to go with. I'm going to do the top and this barn red, and then I'm just going to go over it with the special dark on this, on the wood. And then what I'll do from there, I don't know, because it needs a little something here, but I don't, I'm not going to be able to, because I'm afraid if I drill there, but that will make, because there is a knot kind of right there, and I'm afraid it'll make it split. So I'm going to have to figure something out. And if I glue it, it'll get knocked off, even if I use. 
Maybe I could go just a little ways and stick one down in there. I don't know. I'm really afraid to try that. But right now, I'm going to finish painting it, put this on there, and figure out where I'm going to go from there. This is where she spends most of her time. Staring at my baby chickens. Can't hardly see them, though. Well, sure can't see them with you getting up here. You don't like me to talk to the chickies, do you? No, you don't like it. You want me to talk to you. Where's those chick chicks? <sighs> yes, and she's bumping my hand trying to get me to pet her. My baby chickens. And she wants to eat them. But she can't because we have bricks up here. All right, just wanted to show you my kitty cat and my baby chicks and she wants them. All right, here's where I am with this one. It's almost finished. I painted the barn red on the top and the bottom and took it out and distressed it and then brought it in and put the special dark min wax on it. And for the perch, I just took a little plastic key that I had and broke it in two, drilled a very small hole to stick the perch on down in there. And also, before I put it on, I took some cinnamon and Mod Podge and rusted the key itself. And I'm almost done with this because I think all I need to do is put the Spanish moss in there. I don't know. I might figure out if I'm going to put something here up here like welcome or something. I don't know. It's going to take me a while. I'm going to have to ponder on it. But that's where I'm at with this one. Well, I come into my software for my Cameo, and I typed in welcome, picked out a font, and put a little curve on the welcome, and now I'm going to cut it out and, I believe, put it right above the little hole that's on the uh, birdhouse. Okay, I have my stencil on, and I'm going to stencil it real fast. That probably is just fine right there. Make sure I got everything. Looks good. Now, I'll let that dry some, and I'll go over it with a little bit of sandpaper to kind of let make it look a little older. And now I'll finish this up by putting some, put some Spanish moss in there somehow with some glue. And I think that's, I'm just going to leave that one that way. Just kind of plain. Let this and the key make the birdhouse. Well, for this one, I've just put a coat of the, uh, vinegar and steel wool mixture on the top and I'm going to let that dry and see how what it looks like and then I'm going to go with some color this time because well this is actually my birdhouse that sits out front but the winds have tossed it around and broke it up and I had to repair it and I'm going to put this uh, golden sunset on it on the birdhouse. See how that looks. You can just dress it up. And hopefully the roof turns out to where I can just leave it like that because I like the old look. But that's what I'm going to be doing with this one. And as soon as I get that done, if it turns out the way I like it, it'll be done because I'm really not going to do anything to it. The only thing I've had, I have this on my front porch and the only thing I had living in it was a mouse. And my step-grandson just happened to pick it up and was looking down in it and kind of tilted it because he thought he heard something. And that mouse ran out and he threw the birdhouse. And he's a grown guy. <laughs> it was quite funny. I wished I'd have a camera rolling on that one. Well, I am not loving 
the top because that faded peachy color, it, it looks white on here, but it has got a peachy color. And I just don't like it. So I'm thinking I might use that same uh, aspen green on the roof because I'm just not liking it. But I'm going to let that dry just a little more. The wood is still a little wet. And give this, a, I'm going to have to give it a third coat of the golden sunset. And then I'm going to get the aspen green and paint the roof when that gets a little, when it dries. So that's where I'm at with this one so far. Well, I'm not liking that color either for the roof. So I'm going to switch greens here. I have a color called avocado, Americana. I'm going, and that's the difference in the two colors. So I'm going to try that one. If I don't like that one, I have another one out. And it's called, by Folk Art, Olive Green. So, I'm going to continue on and repaint the top again. Well, I like that color much better with the yellow. So, I'm going to, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with that. See the difference? And then with the yellow. Yep, I like that color, the avocado. Well, here they all are finished, and I just kind of left that one simple. I did go ahead and put that same welcome on there. I cut it out because this will go on my front porch, and the wind will be blowing it around. But I like the colors of it. And then with this one, I did put the welcome with a star, and there's the little key for the perch. And all I did with it was paint it the burgundy color and then put the dark wax to seal it. And then here's this one. And I ended up taking the pit berries off from it. What do y'all think? I didn't know for sure if I liked them on there or not. But it does have the little square rusty nail. Let's see, there you can see it. And I added a star. And that's why they all turned out. And the two on this end are just scrap wood. That I had laying around that I've made all that with. And that one's just one. I've, I probably had that from the 90s. I bought it at a craft mall at the time when watermelons were in, you know, everything done up in watermelon. And it was painted like a watermelon. In fact, it still has the dark green on the bottom. And then when I was sanding, you can kind of see a hint of the red. But anyways, I've had that for a long time. And I just keep painting it a different color. And when I was sanding it off, a lot of the colors were coming through that had been painted. There's the dark green on the bottom and a light green. But it's going around again. It's lasted a long time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until the next one, we'll see you later.